sorry, Mom. Hey, hole in one. Oh, really? I didn't even try. I bet you didn't even try. Come here, you. You're going to sabotage my basil. <laughs> Come here. This is my most favorite, huh? I am. You are. Oh, just call me Sisterilla. I'll take the news. Hey, kiddo. Daddy! Hey, hey. Short person. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. Oh, goodness. Working as usual, I see. Oh, yes. The glamorous life of an herb farmer. You're growing like a weed. What are they doing? They feed you plant food? Yeah. They make you yeah. eat plant food, yeah. do they? Yeah, yeah, I figured it was that. Well, look at this. He even got you working. He's my tuition. Hey. Yeah, what? You know what? I woke up this morning, and I said to myself, today is a beautiful day to go for a drive up in the mountains, maybe even spend the night. Yeah! Mike, he has school tomorrow. <sighs> Look, I know it's last minute. I'm trying to make up for last week, all right? We won't go far, I promise. Please, Mom! Oh, good grief. All right, you'll have him back by 7.30? Yeah, absolutely. And you promise you'll go to sleep early so you won't be tired for school? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you guys. Come on, Mom. Okay, come on, let's get you packed. Hey, Leo. I'm going to yeah. go get ready. All right, if I take the truck, I would just I'd feel more comfortable having four-wheel drive in case it rains. Yeah, sure. I know I haven't been coming around as much as I should have, but that's all going to change. I'm turning over a new leaf, you'll see. I hope so. He really misses you. Silly thing, you're only going for one night. Isn't it great? He's taking me for the whole night. The whole night? Here, take your medicine. Let me pack you. You're going to have so much fun. Oh, good. Get your inhaler. Now, remember the rules. No running near the weeds. Check. Stay dry. Check. And don't use anything but a... Foam pillow. Foam pillow. <laughs> right. Come on, let's go. Have a good time, honey. Seatbelt. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Hello? Catherine, hi, it's Leo. Have you heard from Mike? What about? Well, he took Ace for the night, and uh, he promised to have him back in time for school. I, I haven't heard from them yet, and I just thought maybe, you know, if, if something had happened, he might have called you. I didn't have anything to do with it. Do with what?
I'll be with you in just a minute. Sir, please, my son's missing. Since when? Yesterday, his father took him. Uh, what is your marital status, ma'am? What difference does it make? Please, just answer the question. I'm legally separated. The divorce is pending. And who has legal custody? Well, I will as soon as there's a custody hearing. Well, I'm sorry, but in the eyes of the law, your husband's done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? He stole my child. Legally, it's his child, too. But that doesn't mean he can just take him. Look, my son has severe asthma, and his father doesn't even know how to take care of him. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's nothing I can do. Van. Hi. Well, what's up? Mike took Ace, and the police are saying they can't do anything because I don't have legal custody yet. Uh, Mike took Ace? You're kidding. He came by yesterday morning, and he wanted to take Ace for the night. I even lent him my truck, and he promised to have Ace back in time for school this morning. When they didn't show up, I went by his apartment, and I found this. Okay, okay. Well, so... damn. Only we'd gotten that custody decree issued. We would have if you hadn't changed the court date. If I lose my son because of this, I'll never forgive you. You said there was no custody dispute. Otherwise, I would have never changed the court date. I didn't think there was going to be. Well, you know, I told you, this is why I don't do divorces. People aren't nice to each other. <sighs> Where do you think they might have gone? I have no idea. Well, you know, he knew he couldn't get custody, so he pulls this. He is a lousy criminal. Okay, so what do we do? You said he took your truck. Right. All right. This is this is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna call the state police, and you are gonna tell them that your truck was ripped off. But it wasn't. Well, Mike is a smart guy. He's gonna try and get out of U.S. jurisdiction as fast as he can. His best hope is a run for the border. If he's heading there. We gotta stop him now. It's our only chance. I can't believe this is happening. Your truck was stolen. Hello, I'd like to report a stolen truck. Your name, My name is Leo Pritcher. Hello? This is she. He does not have permission, and he's not my husband. We're legally separated. Is my son with him? Yes. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Don't let them leave until I get there. He stole my son, and he's trying to escape U.S. jurisdiction. Please, I'm on my way. Hey, Border Patrol just called. Yeah, they've got them. I'm leaving now. I'll get ready. Excuse me. Um, this is Leo Pritcher. I am her attorney, Van Stein. We're here to pick up her son, Alexander Pritcher. Can I see some identification, please? Where is my son? He's right in there, man. Ace? Hey, honeybug. Wake up. Hi, Mom. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Guess what? What? Mike dropped his claim. He's waiting for us out back. So Ace can come with us? Ace can come with us. How could you do this? He's my son. I want to see him whenever I feel like it. You already can, Mike. Half the time you're supposed to, you don't even show up. As usual, you don't even understand. Don't understand what, Mike? That you were trying to steal my child? He's my child, too. Then why don't you try considering his feelings for once? He's just a little boy. He doesn't know what's going on. This isn't the time. I have to keep a close eye on Ace. 
until we get the custody of the creed. Legally, we can't keep Mike from seeing him. He tried to take him once. He may try it again. And this goes right to the police? Sure does. Your shirt green. Oh, good. I like green. I'm glad you're home. I missed you. Why were you so mad? Your dad's supposed to get my permission before he takes you anywhere, and he didn't do that. Yes, he did. No, he had permission to take you for one night, but he planned to keep you longer. He can't do that unless he tells me. He said you don't like him to see me. Oh, Ace. Honey, that's not true. Your dad and I love you very much, and we both want to spend time with you. There just, just have to be rules. You understand? Can we make popcorn? <laughs> yeah, let's make a whole bunch of it. Come on. They look more like a couple than mother and son. Hey there. Hey. What's her story? Well, Mike's all she has. Whatever he wants, she wants. And she's very possessive. So she's a fruitcake and he's a jerk. Hey, would you like a cup of tea? Actually, yeah, I, I can have a cup of oh, tea. Oh, damn, sorry. Uh, uh, I'll have to take a rain check on that, so to speak. But um, listen, I'll see you in two days in court, and uh, then we'll have some tea. Okay. Aunt Em had just come out of the house when she saw Dorothy running toward her. My darling child, she cried, holding the little girl in her arms. Where in the world did you come from? From the land of Oz, said Dorothy, where I met a scarecrow, a tin woodman, and a lion. And here is Toto, too. And oh, Aunt Em, I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy to be home again. <laughs> I knew everything would be okay. Well, I hope so. That's the gazillionth time we've read that. Do you think there's really a land of Oz? I don't know. What do you think? I wish there was, but you know what I wish most? What? That I could have a dog like Toto. And he wouldn't make me lose my breath. I wish you could, too. Daddy said I could. Well, Daddy's wrong. He said the asthma's all in my head, and if you didn't baby me, I'd get better. Then I could have a dog. We've been through this before. When you have asthma, you have to avoid certain things. I'm sorry you can't have a dog. Maybe someday, but not now. Not now. <laughs> you go to sleep. All right. Mwah. Sweet dreams. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I heard a dog. Where's that dog? There is that dog. There he is. I got him. I got him. Okay. All right. is all yours. What? It's over. Mike dropped his custody request. You're kidding. 
Van got a letter from Mike's lawyer. Apparently, the hearing is just a formality. Mike won't even be there. Okay, come on. I am cooking a victory dinner. Stop off. And, and pick up some ridiculous dessert. Okay, I will. God, that's great. Tell Ace I'm on my way home, all right? Okay, bye. No, I, I know it takes time, but it's been a month. You're giving me zilch. It's a PI. How about we try to be a little more creative than looking for a paper trail? Because there is none. No, the guy's obviously using cash or he's got a fake ID. Think basics here. Like, he likes mountains, he likes fishing. I mean, that should give you something. Fine. I'll talk to you Monday. Man. You know, I mean, I like computers as much as the next guy, but, you know, sometimes you got to get out. You got to hit the pavement. <sighs> so, what do the police say? Well, the same old thing. The warrant's still out for Mike's arrest. No leads. They questioned Catherine again, and they let her go. Hey, Dad. Yo. Oh, I just stopped by to remind you the game starts at four. Four. And I need five bucks. I'll give you five bucks. Hey, come here. Leo, this is my son, Trang. Trang, this is Leo Pritchard. Hi, Trang. Hi. All right, there's your five. Huh? Come on. Thanks. See you later. Okay. Um, where were we? The police. Well, the police are on it, but we're not their first priority. The problem is, if Mike wants to stay lost, he can pretty much stay lost. Unless he does something stupid or we get lucky. How could we get lucky? Uh, someone could respond to one of our posters, or Mike could just get tired. Tired of hiding, tired of being a daddy 24 hours a day. I don't think that's gonna happen. You never know. How about you? How you doing? You hanging in there? Trying to. I never realized one little boy could make so much noise. Well, it's nothing like the riot a teenager creates. <laughs> we'll compare notes in ten years. You'll see I'm right. You'll wish Ace was little again. How's Ace? I'm so glad you stopped by. We need to talk. Is he all right? 
Come inside. Leo, have you thought that there might be an easy solution to this mess? Sure, just tell me where Ace is and I'll bring him home. Suppose you gave Michael custody of Ace. Hmm? That way they could come out of hiding. He and I could raise Ace and you could visit him whenever you want. I will never, ever give Ace up. He needs a parent who loves him and Michael loves him. He's proving that. By stealing him? If you don't tell me where he is right now, I'm turning this over to the police. This is a message from Mike. Telling you to give me Ace's medical records. So go right ahead. Make that phone call, Lael. Then Ace will not get the medicine that he needs. Why are you doing this? You never loved my son. That's not true. All you cared about was Ace. Well, now you can't have him. You're a sick woman, Catherine, and I'm not going to let you do to Ace what you did to Mike. It was you, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. I have work to do. If you don't talk to me, I'm going straight to the police. I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. You kidnapped my son. I picked him up for Mike. And, it, and if you had been a better mother, this never would have happened. Is that what he told you? That's what he told me. Look, my son is sick, and I need to know where he is. Well, where were you when Ace broke his arm? I was taking care of my mother. Mike didn't even tell me about it. That was two years ago. How do you know about that? We'd been seeing each other for a while, and when Ace got hurt, Mike asked me to help. That was at least a year before we separated. Look, I'm not proud that we were going out behind your back. But Mike told me he was going to leave. And he did. The problem between you wasn't me. Go finish setting up. Please, where is my son? She doesn't know anything. You're lying. You're both lying. If I were you, I'd leave. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. Van, I got a call from Mike. Oh, hi, is your dad here? He's in court. He'll be back around six. Trang, this is very important. Would you make sure your dad gets this tape tonight? I need him to listen to it, okay? Will you do that for me? I'll give it to him. Okay, thanks. Lil, don't worry. Dad will find Ace. He's really smart. Thanks.
Hello? Hey, Leo. It's Ben. Did you listen to the tape? Yeah, I did. Well, isn't there some way we can get the police to trace Mike's call? I think that's going to be very difficult. We've got to go after Catherine. She's an accomplice. Catherine. Catherine threatened me. She said if I went to the police, Ace wouldn't get his medicine. Now, what am I supposed to do? We've got to go after her. No. No, I can't take that chance. Well, let's talk about it over lunch tomorrow. No. Thanks for the offer, but I, I don't think so. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. Bye. No, no, it's too high. I can't get it. Look, I got you. I'm here to take you to lunch. Oh, okay. Nothing personal, but uh, I'm just not in the mood for company. Forget company. You need to eat. I'm not interested, okay? Not good enough. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Well, you got a half hour to work up an appetite because Trang and I worked all morning to get this ready for you. You know, sometimes you make me really crazy. I thank you. Inviting me to lunch. Better wait till after you eat the thing. Dad, give me ten minutes. All right, but just ten minutes, huh? We're hungry. Okay. Come on, I'll show you something. He's a sweet boy. <laughs> He's the boy who came to dinner. He showed up ten years ago. He never left. Now he spent five months at sea with a hundred others on a boat built for twenty. It sank. He was one of six who made it. Gosh, what about his parents? They drowned, you know, along with the rest of his family. I took everyone in, you know, until we could place them. He didn't seem to want to leave. I never really had a family, but it worked out, so maybe there's some grand plan after all. What do you think? Wow. Yeah, wow. They're going to chop her up with firewood when I came along. Are you planning to race? Well, first got to get her to float. <laughs> but, yeah, I was thinking about it. You available to crew? Oh, no. No water for me. I can't even swim. Oh, an hour with me, you'll be swimming like a guppy. To Trang, for letting me help make such a great-looking lunch, and for doing his chores this week without me having to remind him. To Lael, for finally accepting our invitation. To me, for doing my chores after Trang hounded me half to death. <laughs> and, and finally, happy seventh birthday to Ace. Wherever you are, we send you our love. Stop coming in here asking me the same question when you give me an answer. Well, why don't you come in during Catherine's shift and ask her? Because Catherine will always side with Mike. And what makes you think I won't? I think sooner or later you're going to realize that he's just stringing you along like he did me. You don't know what you're talking about. Mike loves me. 
He's going to send for me. Hey, if that's what you want, I hope you get it. I just want my son back. you got to stop coming here. Look, I don't know what else to do. My son means everything to me. I've never begged for anything in my life, and I'm begging you, please help me. They're somewhere in Oregon, and that is all I know. Well? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hey, I uh, talked to the police and the investigator, and they're on it. Great. What are you doing? I know Mike. He loves to fish, and I know his two favorite rivers. Well, that's great. Listen, I'll pass along the information. I just can't sit around anymore. Well, wh why don't you wait for the weekend? I'll go with you. I can't wait for the weekend. Come on. What about your business? Julie can make the deliveries. Mike sees you, he'll run. All right. I'll take care of things in this end. Just promise me that you'll be careful. I promise. I'm going to find my son. Day. Yeah, I guess it is. I'm looking for my son. I never had one myself. Never got married. Come, you looking for him? My ex-husband kidnapped him after I was awarded custody. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I was really hoping you'd seen him. I've been looking for a long time, and. Uh, well, this is just the kind of place he loves. You know, what sort of, sort of fella is your husband? Now's not the best time to ask if you want a fair answer. Thanks anyway. Your husband and son are scheduled for an all-day trip on Saturday. You saw Ace? Was he all right? He's got severe asthma. Mm -hmm. As far as I could tell. Can I use your phone? Right down the wall. Van Stein. Um, yeah, I'll accept the charges. Lael, hi. Hey, I've got great news. I just found out where Mike and Ace are. You're kidding. That's great. Where are you? I'm in Steveston. Okay, look, I'll be out there around six. You go check into a motel and don't leave the room. Don't leave the room for anything. Remember, if Mike sees you, he'll run. I know, I know he will. I understand. Great. Remember, call me. Let me know where you're staying. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Solomon, just Solomon. Solomon. Thanks, Solomon.
bike broke down in the middle of nowhere. It took a while to fix it. You rode your bike in this way? Listen, I need to warm up and then we can fight, okay? Where's the shower? It's in there. Thanks. Just don't use my toothbrush. <laughs> I sure hope it stops. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. What's the matter? I think I need to sit down. When's the last time you ate? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you eat today? Um, yesterday? Well, there's nothing open. We'll get you something to eat in the morning. Get in there. Come on. Get in the bed. Okay. <sighs> Unbelievable. Now look, we'll just talk about everything tomorrow, all right? And I'm going to sleep here tonight, okay? There's nobody in the office. I'm too tired to go looking for another room. I guarantee. I've got nothing on my mind but sleep, all right? All right. a small town. He could be in the room next door. It's time to turn it over to the police. They don't do anything. You said it yourself. It's a small town. They ask a couple of questions. Bingo. They know where the strangers are. Look, I've got a court date I've got to be back for. Why don't we go home? We'll regroup. We'll come back in a couple of days. I'm not leaving. I can't leave you here by yourself. It's too depressing. The grade school is doing the wonderful Wizard of Oz tonight. If Ace has seen the poster, he'll be there. I hope. All right. <laughs> the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Lion thank the Good Witch for her kindness. Then it was Dorothy's turn. You are as good as you are beautiful, but you have not yet told me how to get back to Kansas. Your silver shoes will carry you there, replied Glinda. If I had known their power, you could have gone back the very first day. But then I would not have had my wonderful brains, cried the Scarecrow. And I should not have had my lovely heart. And I would have been a coward forever, declared the lion. And no beast in the forest would have had a good word to say to me. Dorothy looks at her friends. I'm glad I was of use to you. But now that each of you have what you most desired, I think I should like to go back. Three times and say, take me home to Aunt Am in Kansas. Aunt Am had just come out of the house when she saw Dorothy running toward her. My darling child, she cried. Holding the little girl in her arms. Where in the world did you come from? From the land of Oz, said Dorothy, where I met a tin woodman, a scarecrow, and a lion. And here is Toto too. And oh, and I'm so Take our kid. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Oh, oh, lady, lady just grabbed. Oh, 
I've already told you, I'm not a child molester. I was looking for my son, and I made a terrible mistake. It's pretty hard to mistake a girl for a boy. But she was wearing a costume. I got a call about you yesterday morning from a man claiming to be your lawyer. He said that your ex-husband had your son around here somewhere. Well, then you know I'm telling the truth. Why didn't you say so? You tried to kidnap a child last night. Look, would you please just try my lawyer one more time? I told you there's no answer. Bring him in. Is this the woman you saw trying to take your child? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, it is. Are you ready to press charges? Yes. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened last night. You see, I've been searching for my little boy for a very long time. And Toto's his favorite character. So when I saw your little girl's hair up under that costume, I guess I wanted so much for it to be Ace, I just decided it was. I'm so sorry I frightened your little girl. And I'm sorry I frightened you. Who is it? Ben. Hi. Hi. May I come in? Oh, sure. What are you doing here? How many times do I have to tell you I'm worried about you? What about work? I got someone to cover for me. I wanted to be here. So, tell me what happened at the play. Did you see Ace? You're not going to believe what happened. Who's there? Solomon. Hi, Solomon. I uh, hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all. Come in. Solomon, this is Van Stein, the lawyer I told you about. Uh, pleased, to, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Uh, it's probably nothing, but I thought I should tell you. A, a good friend of mine, a doctor, he said he's been treating a, a boy with the worst case of asthma he's ever seen. I said your son had it, so I asked who it was, and he said I wouldn't know because he and his father were, were new to the area. If you want to check it out, they're at the roadway cabins. It's just half a mile up the road. Oh, Solomon, thanks so much. I, I hope it's him. Thank thanks. you. Bye. It's got to be them. Well, we'll sure as hell find out. Uh, Sheriff Beck, please. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. No, hang up. We've got to be real sure before we call them. Well, that's his job to find out. He thinks I'm a child molester. Say what? I went to the play last night, and I was so sure it was Ace up there dressed like Toto. So I tried to get him to leave with me, and it turned out it was a little girl. They thought I was trying to kidnap her. So I was arrested and spent the night in jail. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I guess you're right. We better be very sure before we call the good sheriff. Yeah. guy would do something like this. Well, what did you see in him anyway? Believe it or not, he used to be a nice guy. I don't know what happened. After we got married, he just... Nothing was ever good enough. I wasn't smart enough. Well, I hope you didn't believe him because uh, you are the most uh, interesting, attractive, Herb gardener I ever met. <laughs> well, you're not so bad yourself. No? No.
Van, it's Ace. Where? It's Ace right there. You sure? Yes, I'm sure his hair's a little darker, but it's him. Wait, no, wait You sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, come on, let's go. This is ridiculous. Mike could be gone by now. Excuse me, we've been waiting almost an hour. Why do we even need them? Calm down, it's called due process. Let's just go. Sorry. I got a four-car pile up on the highway. Is this about the other night? As I told you, Ms. Pritchard's ex-husband kidnapped their son. Now this is a superior court order awarding custody of the child to her. We've located them at the roadside cabins. I'd like to have the boy picked up now. I, I don't suppose this can wait till tomorrow? No. This guy is slippery. He went so far underground we couldn't get a trace. If we screw this up and he gets away again, we're not going to get another chance. I need a unit. Cut Wilson loose and have him call me for instructions. Stein? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Lyle Pritchard. We've met. Which cabin? It's the second one in from the left. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, we'll go with you. No, you're staying here. Jerk. What's he doing? He was driving right up to the door. This guy's an idiot. Come on. Surprised you didn't use your siren. Let's go, let's go. Police, open up. Can't you just break the door down? Open up! I know they're in there. Excuse me. Open up, bastard! Ugh. Ace! Uh, call the sheriff. Don't we need a helicopter or something? We don't have one. State does, but it take hours to get here. Uh, do you have a boat? Solomon! Tell Beth they're on the river. How far does the river go? Three and a half miles to the Columbia. Do you think we can catch them? I can't say they may have to the shore and gone up the highway. Well, if they didn't, do you think we can? Now they don't know the currents, which turnouts to avoid. Maybe we can. Is that them? No.
I'm looking for Leo. Oh, she's just across the hall. Dr. Lawrence, pediatric. Dr. Lawrence. The owner of a blue sedan parked in the admitting entrance. Please remove your vehicle. Dan. Where's Ace? We never found him. But that was their boat? Yeah. Excuse me. Um, this isn't a very good time. Well, maybe better than you think. Um, Police been dragging the river, and they came up with nothing. But they did find a set of tracks right downstream from the raft. It was a single set, a man's. Well, he could have been carrying the boy. We are back. I'm Sally Jenkins, and this is The Morning Show. Now, we've been talking to Lael Pritcher, a local woman whose son was stolen by her husband over a year ago. She recently found them in Oregon, but they disappeared. Since then, she's had no new leads. All right, caller, you're on the air. Hello, Lael? Yes, hi. I don't understand how your husband could just disappear. I mean, he has to work and your son's in school somewhere. Can't you trace them that way? We've tried everything, but nothing's turned up. The reason I'm here today is because, well, I think the only way I'm going to find him is if someone who's seen him calls me. What would you say to that person to get them to call? If you know where my son is, please help me. He's only seven years old and he has severe asthma. He's supposed to have shots to control it, but I don't think he's getting them. I don't know how long he'll make it without them. He needs to be home so I can take care of him. I'm sure he wonders where I am. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. As much as he needs me, the truth is I don't know what to do without him. I heard you on the radio. It's, it's over between me and Mike. He uh, got a message to me through Catherine. I guess I served my purpose. Anyway, um, for what it's worth, Catherine quit. She's um, going on a trip, but she won't say where. We're, um, we're giving her a party tonight at the inn. I don't know if this helps, but I thought you should know. Unless you can show probable cause, a judge won't issue a search warrant. Now, we investigated her. She came out clean. I'm sorry. But after tonight, she's gone. I'm sorry.
police are looking for me. I just broke into Catherine's house. Look, I found out she's leaving tomorrow, and I know she's on her way to see Mike, so I thought I might find an airline ticket or something, but look, I found these pictures of Ace. Are you out of your mind? I, why didn't you call me? Because I didn't want to ask you to break the law with me. Leo, we're going to find Ace, but we can't do it with you in jail. Oh, look. Let me look at those. Oh, that RV has an Arizona plate. That's good. Our investigator can find out who it belongs to. Maybe the owner can help it. Okay. Let's see some more here. Um, what's that word? What's that say? Carniceria. Carniceria. The Spanish for but butcher shop. So they're in Mexico. Okay. Now, we'll just figure all this out tomorrow, including what we're going to tell the police. If we're lucky, maybe Catherine won't press charges. In the meantime, uh, I don't think you can go home. Might as well just stay here, okay? Come on. Hi. Hi, Leo. Just keep working. I'll be right back. Yikes. <laughs> this is the mess. I really haven't had That's a guest okay. here in a while. <sighs> you know, you could get in a lot of trouble for this. Well, I'm already in a lot of trouble. Dad, you almost done? Uh, yeah, I'm almost done. We were doing my calculus. Well, then you two better get back to work. See you tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna turn in. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get that PI working, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna go talk to the police. I can't take a chance that they'll arrest me. Not when we're so close. Lael, you found us the lead that we're looking for, but you broke the law, and now we have to deal with that. Hey, you did good, all right? Mm -hmm. We'll talk tomorrow, all right? Get some rest. Is this the Holling residence? Yes, it is. Was your RV recently in Mexico? Yes. Are you from the insurance company? We're in Mexico. Near our summer home. Who is this? It's a long story, Mrs. Holling. I tracked you down by the license plate on your RV. I'm looking for my son. The doctor saw so many children. Was he American? The doctor? Yes, he is American. His name is Alexander Pritcher. He's seven years old. 
There weren't too many Americans. I, I don't remember an Alexander. Well, we call him Ace. Ace? Yes, his father brought him to the clinic in Mesa. Mesa? Mesa what? Look, the doctor did everything he could. It's not well, his fault. What are you talking about? What do you mean? This is Dr. Holland. We have nothing more to say. Hotel, señora. Hotel. Sí, hotel. Yo la llevo. Um... Hotel. Okay. Gracias. Buenos días. Do you have a room? Oh, americana. Ah, eh, hotel Mesa Tres Ríos welcomes you. I am Luis. I'm really hungry. Do you have a restaurant? Oh, I'm sorry, señorita. It no open. Um, chubasco close everything but us. Uh, I bring food to you. What's a chubasco? Mmm, muy malo. Bad storm. I'm looking for my son. Have you seen him? Um, no. I'm willing to pay for information. Maybe you could ask around for me? Uh, I ask. <laughs> Maybe we find. Uh, room number two. Uh, I bring food. Okay. Uh, Senora Pritchard? Pritchard. Mm. Thank you. De nada.
Buenas tardes. Well, I've been all over this town. Where is everybody? Where are the children? I told you. Chuvasco. Before, many people here. All gone now. Why? After the storm, sickness, cholera. They got into the water. A hundred children died. A hundred children? Yes. Many adults as well. The others, all gone. I ask about your son. Nobody knows anything. But I find that some Americans are here, over in Agua Dulce. Where is that? Mm, it's not far, by car. Well, can you tell me how to get there? Uh, no, no, no. You don't want to go there by yourself. It's a little too dangerous. You wait. I find out some more. Okay. Thanks. De nada. Yes? You must go in the morning to Policia. You must go. Why? Who says? Chief Hernan. La llevo, señora. Señor Preacher, thank you for coming. Oh, sure. Please. I hear you look for your son. Yes, I am. Do you know anything? First, you tell me the facts. Well, I have an official court decree awarding custody of my son Alexander to me. My ex-husband, Michael Pritcher, kidnapped him, and I have good reason to believe that he's here in Mesa Tres Rios, near Agua Dolce. I will go to Agua Dolce. But first, a judge must come from Chabala to review the matter. But they could be gone by then. You know what? I'll take the papers to Shabora myself and have them signed there. Uh, no. The law says the judge must try the matter here. <sighs> look, if my ex-husband thinks something's going on, he'll run. I will look into this matter. Do not worry. Just how far is Agua Dolce? You will not go there. I will investigate. You will do nothing. Do you understand? Yes, sir, I understand. Hello. Buenos dias. Do you speak English? No. Um, Chubasco, Los Niños, uh, El Muerto, uh, a list. Oh, sí, sí. Venga. Ah, aquí está. Necesita transportación. Oh, no, no. Se lo rento. No, gracias. The hotel, please. No, take me to the cemetery. No, señora. No creo que sea buena idea. Ha habido una epidemia de cólera ahí. Please. My son. I have 
have to know. Está bien. Amante, Juan y Ezequiel. Cinco años. Es todo, ya no hay más. ¿Y tus hijos? Estoy tan sorry. I don't get it. I do everything just like she does. Guess I got a killer thumb. They must miss her. You heard anything? Aprovecho, señora. Thank you. Jefe, Luis. The American in Agua Dulce has a yellow car. He's there two months. That's him! Is my son with him? I could not find out. You ignore what I said. So you will go to your room and stay there until the judge arrives. Now. You can't do that. I have rights. You can't stop... Not here. Not unless I give them to you. Consider yourself under house arrest. Dulce, al norte, pasando el cementerio. The cemetery is south. No, no, dos, dos cementerios. Al norte, pasando la fábrica. Uh, factoría. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gracias.
why? You killed my child, you son of a bitch! Lel, wait. Shut up! Catherine! Get out of the car! Now! Get out! Lael, come down here. Lael, I think we need to talk. No, we don't. Come on, Lael. We can work the... <laughs> Lie down! Both of you, now! You killed my son. Now I'm gonna kill you. Lael, look in the car. Shut up! Please! In the car, Lael. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hernán. Si no está la señora, patrón. Es impasible. Señor Preacher ha estado en el hotel toda la mañana. No es verdad y parece que se llevó la pistola. ¿La pistola? Sí, ¿qué hacemos? Yo me encargo de todo. Please, honey, I've got your medicine. Just hold on. Remember how we do it? Ready? Deep breath. One, two, three. Go away or I'll shoot. Quiero. Help. I mean it. El niño está enfermo. El niño. El boy. Temo. Help, señora.
Apúrate. Sí, ahí. Hoy. Miguel. Siempre me estás pidiendo favores así, ¿por qué? Señora, I take you north. You'll take us to the border? Sí, se sabe. We must go now. Yeah, that's great. Timo, will you do me a favor? This is very important. Would you call this number, Telefono, and tell him that I'll be in Sasabi tomorrow? Sí, mañana, dile. Okay. And, um, here, let me give you some money for gas, okay? Is that enough? Okay. No más con Muchachos, apúranse, ya nos vamos. Timo, I want you to have this. Oh. No, no, please. I appreciate so much. Thank you. La policía, vamos de prisa, vamos. Ace, come on, honey, we gotta hurry. Come on, Timo's gonna help you. ¿Qué más, más, más? Ya no más, no más, este, amarra todo con la ciudad. Vamos. Martín, ayúdala. Thank you. Ayúdala. Dale, patrón. Estamos viendo para la siguiente. my most absolute favorite. I am. Um, I always knew you loved me, Mom.
Quiero mucho a México. Ay, qué bueno. Bueno, señor, pase. Gracias. Papeles. Paren aquí un momento. Esperen para inmigración. Next. Step forward, man. How long have you been in Mexico, man? Oh, my car broke down. I asked you how long you've been in Mexico. Oh, uh, three days. I was visiting my husband. What's wrong with him? Uh, oh, uh, he ate everything that wouldn't eat him. Thank you. Next.